Great scenes aren't always found in great movies. Sometimes a film will come out and it will be terrible. The acting, directing and writing will all suck and the runtime will feel like it's stretching your very essence of being out into eternity to burn in the fires of hell. I'm not exaggerating, you're exaggerating. You'll be on the verge of walking out the cinema or switching off the TV, but then it happens. Suddenly, all these terrible elements seem to coalesce and the whole will somehow be greater than the sum of its parts. There'll be a single amazing scene in that terrible film. The sun shines, birds sing, and everything is good once more. But rather than make you sit through a bunch of lackluster movies shifting the sweet corn from the shit. Ooh, that's lovely. I'm here to help you skip to the good bits. Isn't that nice? With that in mind, I'm Ash from What Culture, and these are eight great moments in otherwise terrible movies. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to stay notified. Ding, ding, done. Eight, White Chicks. Terry Crews sings along to Vanessa Carlton. White Chicks is a Wayans Brothers. Is comedy the right word to use? Anyway, it's a film about two male black FBI agents who have to disguise themselves as white women for reasons you can happily live the rest of your lives without knowing. Most of it is filled with the usual predictable toilet jokes, but with the added twist of having every punchline delivered by a man whose disguise looks less rich bimbo socialite and more, last thing you see in a horror movie before you die. Terry Crews has a surprising gift for physical comedy and this is the film that showcased it to the world. During a date with one of the girls, and I use the term lightly, Vanessa Carlton's A Thousand Miles starts playing on the radio and he excitedly sings along. What actually sells it is the 100% commitment Cruz puts in. No one can resist that song. 7. The One Jet Li on the Prison Planet The One is a film whose plot about an evil Jet Li travelling through alternate realities to kill all other versions of himself and become the ultimate Jet Li is only the second most ridiculous thing about it. That dubious honour goes to Jason Statham attempting to do an American accent. At the end, however, the evil Jet Li is defeated by the good Jet Li and sent to a prison planet in another dimension. He wakes up to find himself surrounded by an entire planet's worth of hardened convicts, all of them looking like they just got an early Christmas present. We then get an undeniably cool scene of Jet Li standing on top of a temple and screaming, I am nobody's bitch, you are mine, then proceeds to start kicking heads in as the camera pans out. Why didn't we get a whole movie of this? 6. Superman Returns – The Aeroplane Rescue Part of the problem with this film probably lies with the fact that Superman Returns tried to act as a continuation of the Richard Donner movies. No matter how much effort everyone involved put in, there's no way it was ever going to come out on top when compared to those beloved classics. The biggest tragedy of Superman Returns is that Brandon Ruth was actually pretty damn great as the Man of Steel. No other scene better showcases that than when Superman announces his return to the world by saving an aeroplane full of people. It's an incredible display of large-scale superheroics, and Clark's reminder to everyone at the end that flight is still the safest way to travel is the icing on the cake that makes this scene one of the greatest Superman moments ever. 5. The Matrix Reloaded – The Freeway Chase While the first film wore its pseudo-philosophical nonsense on its sleeve with pride, it always knew when the audience had had enough and wanted some action. Matrix Reloaded gave us a finale that was mostly Neo listening to Colonel Sanders spout some garbage about destiny. That being said, the freeway chase scene still holds up as one of the greatest car chase scenes in cinema, thanks to its combination of practical effects and CGI sci-fi twists. The Wachowskis put a lot of dedication into the scene, going as far as to have an entire freeway built to film on and the results really show. There's gunfights between vehicles as Trinity swerves through traffic, agents appearing and jumping from car to car, the twins popping in and out of clouds of smoke, and car flips are plenty. It's everything a chase scene needs to grow big and strong. 4. X-Men Origins Wolverine – The War Montage What a hot mess this film was. X-Men Origins Wolverine revealed that the real reason Logan didn't remember his past was because it was an unruly heap of plot holes that even someone who hadn't been shot in the head would struggle to keep straight. The credit sequence to Origins was the film that the rest of the movie wishes it was. After a young James Howlett discovers his powers, we see a montage of him and his half-brother Sabretooth fighting their way through every war in history. The scene had action better than anything that came after it and established a firm bond between the two future enemies that seemed set for a dramatic finale when they inevitably turned on each other. But instead, we got Deadpool with his mouth sewn shut. 3. Street Fighter For me, it was Tuesday. Street Fighter is a film that spends most of its runtime balancing on the line between so bad it's good and just bad. 
It did, however, set up an actor who stands out like a bright blazing star, Raul Julia as M. Bison. Despite suffering from stomach cancer at the time, which would sadly kill him soon afterwards, Julia brought his best to the role and delivered a wonderfully hammy performance as the would-be world dictator. The highlight is when Chun-Li confronts Bison decked out in a dressing gown and reveals that he killed her father. He then responds with a genius bit of dialogue that is perfectly delivered by Julia. For you, the day Bison graced your village was the most important day of your life. But for me, it was Tuesday. 2. Spider-Man 3 – Sandman's Origin I don't think I really need to say much about this film other than emo Peter Parker. Surprisingly, the villain who came out of Spider-Man 3 the best was Sandman. Flint Marco's transformation is a beautiful and poignant scene. After partially pulling himself together from surrounding sand, Sandman looks at what he's become and falls into despair. However, he then sees his locket with a picture of his daughter in it. Determined to save her, he completely reconstitutes himself and walks out of the sand pit. The scene's lack of dialogue and haunting backing music help to make it one of the most understated but affecting scenes in the entire trilogy. 1. Star Wars The Phantom Menace – The Lightsaber Duel Part of the movie's badness isn't even its own fault. Fans had spent 16 years waiting for the next instalment in the Star Wars saga and it would have been a struggle for any film to live up to that much hype. However, Phantom Menace wasn't exactly helped by the bad acting, boring plot and Jar Jar goddamn binks. Darth Maul is a villain whose cool design has made him popular despite not having much of an impact on the plot. What he does have, though, is one of the greatest lightsaber fights ever. The iconic double-bladed lightsaber and Ray Park's acrobatic fighting style make it a fight scene unlike anything that had been seen in the original trilogy, as Maul engages Key John and Obi-Wan in a fast-paced duel that mixes spins and kicks with traditional swordplay. It is a truly fantastic scene. Just ignore the bit at the end where Darth Maul more or less lets Obi-Wan kill him. So that's our list. What are your favourite movie moments that single-handedly pulled their films out of the gutter? Let us know in the comments section below. I've been Ash and this has been What Culture. Make sure to subscribe to the What Culture YouTube channel for more lists like this. And don't forget to visit whatculture.com for daily news and articles. Thanks for watching.